Okay, this is game one, um, Von Sheev, Teichmann. Um, we have a standard Italian setup, e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop c4, bishop c5, and c3. Now, black defends with kind of an old-fashioned way of defending with queen e7, when really knight f6 is probably the most advanced and the best way to go. Um, but black uses kind of an old-fashioned defense, which is fine. Um, it's not considered the best. Uh, white castles here. Now, after castling, you have to watch out because now when, if d4 had come before he castled, right, he could have did e takes d, c takes d, queen takes e4 check, and you get the pawn here, all right? But after the castle, that's no longer in play because let's say black plays d6, here comes uh, d, uh, d4, and then e takes d, c takes d, and then queen takes here, and then anytime that happens and you have a castled king on the white side with uh, a rook that can slide over to e1, and this is all lined up, this is going to lose the queen. Okay? So be careful on that. So after playing d6, we go back to his center pawn thrust. Usually when somebody plays c3, that means a pawn next to it, usually a center pawn is going to launch up two squares. So he goes to d4 right here, right? Um, black pulls back the bishop, which is playable. And then uh, white continues with a4, which is taking up space on the queen side, which is fine, and also poses like a little threat here. If it goes one more square, you can see that it traps the bishop. Um, so white creates like a little space where it could kind of sneak back into. But black pursues that. Anyway, so here there's a couple of options. Uh, actually, uh, white's trying to trap black into. Um, it's best for black to just go back in here because he can still have the same effect on this diagonal one square back. But if there's some captures, that's not going to work out well for uh, black because bishop takes, rook takes, knight takes, queen a4 check. And it looks like you can win the, the, the knight right here, but the knight actually pulls back to block the check. But then d5 piles up on the pin piece, and now uh, the knight's going down. But back to here, you'll see that if he takes with the knight first, then it's rook takes, bishop takes, and then there's the same check, and now white's picking up the bishop. Usually, most players value the two pieces more than a rook and a pawn. So, going back to a5, black plays bishop a7 to go back. And now he plays h3, which is not the best move. It's pretty much used to prevent the bishop from coming to g4 to stop this little pin right here, but it's not really a uh, uh, the most aggressive move. It's a little slow. So rook e1 was probably better. So this protects this... Um, pawn and holds this strong center. But instead he kind of weakens his own little uh, king wall here. And now here comes knight f6. He just develops. And now this is where the big evaluation change. White actually has a um, advantage here of about 1.1. But here when he does d takes e5, this just essentially eliminates the strong center that white has built up, which is holding black's pieces at bay, and opens up this line for this bishop. And as uh, if, you, if, you, if you watch the recaptures, black recaptures with a piece. And here, white doesn't have that many great moves. E1 is probably best, but instead he captures with a knight, and, and that's kind of understandable because he's trying to get out this powerful center knight that uh, black had. Um, but black recaptures with a piece. And now if you notice, black's got a pretty good advantage now because he's got one, two, three, four pieces kind of in the general zone of uh, white's king. And white's king has 
really only three pawns. And when you, when you don't have a piece in front of the three pawns helping for defense, you're really susceptible to attacks. Okay. Uh, the best move here probably would have been queen d3 to help hustle over some, uh, some defense here and protecting the e4 pawn. But he plays knight d2 instead, hoping to get that to f3, and that's just not going to be fast enough. Um, because here comes, the, here comes the crash. Boom. And now really, white's best move was probably queen f3 and letting him have the pawn. And then uh, his bishop has to race back. But instead, he captures, and that's understandable because you might be under pressure. You think you're getting the bishop, but this allows for that penetration right there. Queen g3, and he, the queen can't be captured because of the bishop pinning um, the pawn on f2. And now you'll see the mop-up begin. Only move, captures, g1, and now g4. Now if you examine the situation, uh, black has given up a bishop but has gotten two pawns and a raging attack. And that's usually going to be worth it, uh, the worth the sacrifice, because you're probably going to get your pieces back um, in, in, and maybe checkmate even. Okay, so uh, he plays knight f3 to try to uh, block the checkmate here on h2 by the queen. g3, this pushes black's king back to the corner. And uh, actually, what looks like a great move is actually kind of um, a move that lets black, I mean, lets white white back into the game. This, this would be the attack, but there is a one enormous save. So bishop takes f2, looks like it threatens this right here, okay? Looks like it threatens um, rook takes f2, and then that checkmate right there. Or it looks like it threatens, uh, let's say he tries to move a piece over here. Then you also have check, block, mate. But what actually one last save that White actually had was uh, uh, he did not find. So he resigned actually in an uh, even position was that check right there. Desperado Bishop, and then now he could probably keep going for a perpetual check. This is actually Black's best move, and then um, Black can give back some material with the Bishop here, attacking. White has to capture. I think that's the only move. Black pulls back his Bishop to attack this Knight. Um, this knight races back, and this is technically an even game, but that uh, the white player didn't see that, and since we're back here, this is where he resigned. But the game just shows you how you can launch a kingside attack when you have pieces facing that way, and white just doesn't have enough defense blocking. Okay.